Hello and welcome to our next video, flashing Tuya devices with Tuya Convert. Flashing smart plugs that run on the Tuya or Smart Life platform with Tasmota allows you to take control of the plugs and removes the reliance on the Tuya cloud. Cloud control could be lost at any time, a network outage, internet issues or Tuya deciding to close their system down. There is an ability to flash some of these plugs with alternative firmware that allows you to control them locally without reliance on the cloud. This works on the ESP chipset. Unfortunately, a number of manufacturers are now using alternative RTL chipsets that cannot be flashed, so finding these plugs is becoming difficult. I have found a UK supplier of compatible plugs on Amazon. I have posted a link to these in the description below, and the process is covered in this video. First, you need a system running Linux that we will install the required software on. This can run on any hardware as long as the wireless network adapter is capable of being put into AEP mode. A Raspberry Pi with an Ethernet connection will also work in this way, so I will demonstrate using this. First, you will need to flash the latest Raspbian onto an SD card. Using the Raspberry Pi imager, click Choose OS. This is a 4GB Raspberry Pi 4, so I will use a 64-bit version. Click the OS you prefer, click Choose Storage and select the SD card or other medium you are using to install. Once both have been selected, click the right button, then Yes and it will be written to the SD card. When it's complete, remove the SD card and close the imager. Put the SD card into the Pi, connect it up and apply power. Progress through the Raspberry and install, answering the questions. Set your country, language and time zone. Set a username and password. Make any adjustments to the screen size or just click next. Click next on the wireless setup. Click next to update the install. This might take a short time to download and apply the updates. When you get the setup complete screen, click restart. After a reboot, you'll be presented with a desktop. Click the terminal button to open the terminal. As with all new Raspbian installs, type sudo apt-get update and hit enter followed by sudo apt-get upgrade. This checks the repositories and applies any relevant updates. To configure wireless and SSH access, Type sudo raspy-config. And press enter. This will launch the Raspberry Pi configuration menu. Select interface options. In the sub-menu, select SSH. 
Select yes. Select OK. Select system options. Select wireless LAN. Fill in the SSID and passphrase. When complete, scroll down and select finish. Now connect to the system using SSH. Run the command sudo apt-get install git. The command is on the screen and also in the description below. Run the command shown on the screen. This is also in the description below. Enter the directory just created by typing cd toya-convert. Enter sudo dot forward slash install underscore prereq dot sh. The script will install all the prerequisites for the Toya convert script. This may take a few minutes to run. When all is done, reboot your Pi. You can then connect using SSH. Log in. Type cd toya-convert. Then type the command on the screen. This will start the Toyo convert script. If you're asked if you want to terminate some processes, answer why. At this point, connect a device, smartphone, etc., to the Wi Fi network vtrust flash. It will appear to do very little. That's no problem, all it needs is a device to connect to it. Also, you need to put the smart plug in auto config or pairing mode. This differs between devices, but normally you hold a button in until the LED starts blinking fast. Once you've done all of this, press enter. Toya Convert will attempt to connect to the device. Be patient, this might take a few minutes. It will first back up the firmware already on the device so that you can restore it if necessary. Once done, it will present you with some options to flash the device. Press 2 to choose Tasmota. It will ask you for further confirmation. Press Y.
Once finished, it will give you information about connecting to the device. It will ask if you want to flash another. If you do, press Y. If not, press N. You can now disconnect from the VTrust flash network. To configure the plug, go to your Wi-Fi options and look for networks. You're looking for a network called Tasmota, followed by some random characters. Connect to it. When connected, browse to 192.168.4.1. You'll be presented with a basic network setup screen. You can enter your network settings here or scan for Wi-Fi networks. Click on the correct one and enter your passphrase. Click save. The smart plug will now restart. Connect to your normal Wi-Fi network. You may need to connect to your router to find out what the device's IP address is. It will be called Tasmota followed by random characters. Make a note of the IP address. From the browser, enter the address found on your router page. This should take you to the Smart Plugs homepage. Click Firmware Upgrade. From this page, you can either automatically download the latest firmware from the Tasmota website or via a file upload. We'll use the automatic update. Click on the top Start Upgrade button. The device will upgrade and will again restart. Once rebooted, we need to pay some configuration information to set up the device. Go to the device webpage from the description and halfway down the page, you'll see a configuration box. Click to copy the string. Go back to the device web page, click configuration, and then configure other. In the template field, replace the text with the string that you copied. Select the activate box. If you wish, change the device name and friendly name boxes. Click save. The device will reboot. Upon restarting, you'll notice some changes. The title is now Go Send Up 111. The device's name matches what you entered, and you should see data about the device, voltage, current, etc. Information should show data about the device. Toggle will turn the device on or off. To get the device to work with Home Assistant, we need to set up MQTT. To do this, go to Home Assistant. Click Settings Add-ons. And click the Add-on Saw button. Click the Mosquito Broker, then click Install. When it's installed, enable the watchdog. Click start and check the log to make sure it's started. We need to set up a user to add to MQTC devices. Click settings, people and click on the users tab. 
click add user. Enter the details I used MQTT user and enter a password. Make sure the user can only log on from the local network. Click create. Go back to the smart plug web page and click configuration. Click configure MQTT. Enter your home assistant IP address or host name in the host field. Change the user to the details you created in the last step. Change the password to match. Topic is to identify the smart plug. You can change this to match the name if you prefer. Click save. The device will again restart. To get the device to start sending MQTT data, click console. In the enter command field, type set option 19 on and press enter. In a few seconds, some data will start to appear. If you now go back to Home Assistant and click Settings, Devices and Services, you should see a discovered MQTT integration. Click Configure, then press Submit. Finally, click Finish. You should now see the Mosquito Broker with some devices. Click on the Device link. This should now show a page for the device with a toggle control and several sensors. It may take a few minutes for the sensors to show data. There should be an Add to Dashboard link. Click this. Select the dashboard, click next. Accept the suggestion by clicking add to dashboard. Do the same with the sensors. If you now click on the dashboard, you'll see the toggle switch and the sensor data. If after a few minutes the data isn't showing, restart the smart plug. Upon restart, check the dashboard, the data should start to show in a few seconds. That's pretty much it. The flashing process for other devices is similar, but you may need to search the specific device you have to see if it's possible. Thank you for watching. If you found this useful, please like the video and click subscribe. I release videos on smart tech with a focus on Home Assistant, so if there's anything you'd like to see, please leave a comment below.